How's it going, everybody? Hope you're all doing well. So I want to do a quick rundown on the Hyperlite Mountain Gear Daybreak Pack. This is kind of like a day pack aspect, and I actually really enjoy this pack, and I'm very surprised that I did. And I just want to share with my, or share with you my experience with it and everything. And I've put this through a lot of hard use, and I did not think it would hold up as well as it has. So I'm going to discuss a little bit features that it has, why I like it, and why I will continue to use it. Now, I have used this as a day pack and even an assault pack as through training environments through the military and just in general, like, you know, training with weapon systems and stuff like that, hard use. So it doesn't matter if you don't like that kind of stuff or not. I'm just sharing you or I'm going to share with you, like, I've put this through a lot, like abusive military aspects. And Dyneema, which is what it's made out of, isn't really known for being extremely strong. Like it is in tensile strength and all this other stuff and being waterproof and stuff. But normally people think of ultra light gear and they think very fragile, which so far it is not. I use this thing quite a bit. Um, like I said, I use this at a salt pack and I literally lived out of this pack for about 48 hours and getting shot at and run through and just training environment, of course, and whatnot. But there's a lot of cool features about this pack that work really well. One that it is, you know, that black kind of solid black and it doesn't very stand out very much as in it doesn't attract people's eyes like, oh, what kind of pack is that? Like a military pack or something that has a lot of flashiness on it. This looks like a pretty just typical backpack, but it's really lightweight. It's about two pounds. And the cool thing is it's mainly waterproof. So the material itself, which is Dyneema, is waterproof. So if like I would just pour water on this, it's going to 100% go out. But it does have drain holes in the bottom. So if you do submerge it, I did the, go through pouring rain with this. Um, the inside did get a little bit wet, and that's mainly through the uh, zipper. But other than that, it's not that bad. So going over some of the features with it. Now, it has the main large compartment, of course, which is one, um, just a typical backpack compartment. There's really no organization. There is two pieces I'll show here in a second. But then you also have this pass-through, or not really pass-through, but it's like another just open area. I put normally a rain jacket in there or whatever you want. And the one thing that really stands out, which I liked, is it has shot cord on the outside as you can see and it is really expandable and this expands out that you could stuff whatever you want in here within reason now i even went up to a full military helmet and as this is my assault pack i stuffed a military helmet with night vision in here and we all know that's probably about four pounds and this bungee was able to hold it as i cinched it up and i still had like rain gear and stuff like that in it worked out really well uh this is an awesome day hikers pack two very large um water bottle holders this is a smaller water bottle a polar bottle and this thing fits in here very well a 1.5 liter bottle will fit in here so like a very large which i'll probably try to throw some photos in there but you can throw a lot of water in each side and or whatever you want these things expand out very well very nice and i like them for that they keep uh, rigidity the zippers do go all the way down they almost go all the way inside so you can really open this thing up if you need to to get to the bottom now getting to the inside on the back side you see this has a little bit of elastic, so you could put a water bladder back here. There is no provisions for attaching it. Maybe documents or a laptop could go back here, a smaller one. Um, I flew with this multiple times. Like I use this as my carry-on. Um, there is a small, on the front side, there's a small zipper pouch um, just for putting random little items in. I mean, keys, maybe a, a wallet or something like that. Like uh, if I was going swimming with the kids or something, I would put sensitive items in there and leave this up on the bank and we would go swimming and stuff like that. Um, the back size, this has no frame whatsoever. So that could be a good thing or a bad thing for some folks. It just is what it is. It has a lot of good padding. It is very comfortable around the shoulders. Now, one thing that if you are worried, um, this does not have load lifters, but then again, do you really need load lifters? Cause this thing is not meant to have a ton of uh, weight. I would be interested in incorporating that to kind of pull the weight more towards yourself 
And I get it, I'm using this kind of out of, out of context. This bag isn't meant to be an assault bag or an abused backpack. It's meant to be more of a day hiker and whatnot. And it just, it is what it is and I abused it. So there is a waist belt. I always tuck it in. I pr pretty much never use it. Um, good solid bottom. They reinforce the bottom and the entire back. Um, pretty good, honestly. There's no abrasion. They do have a, like an ice axe loop thing. They do that sometimes. And you could put uh, stays or uh, hiking, trekking poles and stuff like that. But ultimately, this is a pretty good pack. It is expensive though. I was surprised, honestly, how expensive this was. I'm like, uh, do I commit to it? And I just, I just went for it and I was glad that I did. It does have a grab handle too. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty simple pack, but it is a little expensive. But honestly, right now, this is like my favorite pack that I've used in the last year, for sure. Now, even like in the last decade, if you would say, hey, what's the pack you would go to and grab? For small stuff, like running around town or even assaulting or doing all that kind of stuff, this pack is actually pretty good. You're going to pay for it. And just to let you know, I have no affiliation with Hyperlight Mountain Gear whatsoever. They have no idea I'm doing this. I don't make any money on how many you buy. It's just uh, an opinion of mine that I really like this pack. I wish it wasn't as expensive as it is, but um, it's a really good day pack. One downside, it's a little loud. The material is loud. So if you are... It, it does get quieter over time, which is weird, or I just don't notice it anymore. I don't know. I, lo I know a lot of people complained about it, but when you're hiking with it, it kind of just dissipates out after a little bit. But if you're really getting in this thing and you're trying to enjoy nature, or you don't want to be heard, it can have some issues with it. You just have to be quiet and of like opening it and getting in. But that's ultimately the only downside with this pack, in my opinion. Now, you might find more. You might find some of them damaged or broken. Uh, I don't know. Um, it is what it is. I like it. I'm just passing on some information. So I will throw their link in the description box below. Um, again, I make no money. They have no idea I'm doing this. So it's just a cool pack. I like it. So, yeah. If you guys want more of this stuff, want to see more, I own a lot of Hyperlight Mountain Gear stuff. I've never contacted them, or they've never contacted me at least, and had communications. But uh, I plan on doing a review on the Southwest 3400, I think it is, or 3300, whichever one it is. I've had that thing for like four years now, and then I have the 4400 Southwest as well, and I've had that for two years. Both are doing really good, and I'm going to explain all the details of those packs as well for me abusing them they've held up really well uh not typical like hiking like as in me like throwing them down the side of a mountain and stuff and running through this type of brush all the time for training but i'm rambling anyways it's a good pack hope you enjoyed it y'all have a great day